Joseph D'Angelo, the suspected East Area rapist, entered a courtroom today before learning the judge would unseal certain information related to his case, specifically partially redacted arrest and search warrants detailing a decade of crimes he's accused of committing. The documents reveal that on April 18th, investigators collected a DNA sample from the driver's side door handle on D'Angelo's car. It was parked at the Hobby Lobby in Roseville. They took that swamp to the Sacramento DA crime lab for testing. Then on April 23rd, more samples were taken from D'Angelo's trash can. A piece of tissue provided DNA results. Both DNA samples were tied to crimes in Orange and Ventura counties. D'Angelo was arrested the next day. Attorney Duffy Carolyn fought on behalf of a number of media entities, including KCRA, to have this information released. She calls it a victory. It is hard to get warrant information, um, especially in a case like this. The court recognized that there is a First Amendment right of access to warrant materials as judicial records. That in and of itself is a victory. The documents also show some of the things investigators were looking for from D'Angelo, including computers, hard drives, and other media storage devices, lock safes, boxes, or chests, any photo albums or loose photographs showing D'Angelo through the years, and any journals, diaries, or maps depicting Sacramento County, the East Bay, Orange County, or where crimes occurred in the 1970s and 1980s. New information spread out over 170 pages as the case against D'Angelo takes another step closer to trial. He's due back in court July 12th. In downtown Sacramento, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News. So